good stuff. Okay, real quick. We got Farnell over there. I'm going to go see your girlfriend. Get some good together. A couple of things. Obviously, we have some uh, guests back here in the building. Brian and Mike are here to say goodbye. Uh, if you haven't already heard, there's a lot of retirements this month. Keith was first. He started the ball rolling just right. But uh, Mr. Yeah. Williams is retiring. Okay? Uh, Woo! Today, this is a good opportunity to make sure you say goodbye. Um, the card will be here. The card will be here. The card will be here this afternoon up on this table, up on the countertop. So please make sure you sign it. We'll mail that out to John. But, uh, John, come on. I could I could deliver it. I could drop it off. On on the way. I would be on route. A couple of things real quick. Let's keep this rolling. But uh, John, for those of you who've been here a long, long time, okay, you had opportunities to work with different shop crews, different business agents, and different things like that. The one the one most important, biggest thing that I like to say to John, and, and publicly in front of the group, I don't want to embarrass you, but John John has really actually tried extensively, he's gone above and beyond to try to make sure. Even when things are crazy like right now, you look at the stop counts, you look at the things, you know, all the different deals that are going on. John's remained professional, number one, which is huge. He's actually come in the office and talked to us and said, you know, these are things that we're working on. He's trying to give us the pulse of the group, not just Hans, but he's, he's, he's actually trying to work and keep lines of communication open. Which, if you've, uh, if you've gone off on your preloader before as a driver, if you've gone off on a management person because you're upset, um, you found out that you probably didn't catch as many flies as you could have. So, John has come up to the group, to, to the management team. Um, he's tried to bridge that gap of communication the best he possibly could. And I'd just like to thank you publicly for that because it makes my job a lot easier, even when it sucks. And I just want to give you a chance to talk. I know everybody's probably pretty surprised I've hardly mentioned the fact that I'm retired. <laughs> 27 years have gone by, and I've made a lot of really good friends here. I've met and married a wonderful woman, and uh, you know, 27 years, I'd like to say they went quick, but they really didn't go that quick. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I'm thankful to have worked for UPS for 27 years, but I'm even more thankful not to have to work another day. <laughs> <laughs> I know I wouldn't be retiring today if I wasn't a Teamster, and I want to thank the Teamster Union for negotiating the contracts and Getting the ADNL, we didn't have the ADNL when we started here. We didn't have a lot of the language that we have today. And, and I want to thank the Teamster Union. And last, I'd like to wish everybody here good luck with their careers. And I hope you all get to where I'm at because it's a wonderful place. Woo. To Amen. Amen. Woo! Well, it's my privilege and honor to give John the retiree hat.
one, and eight through 13 is group two. The other thing is, is this morning, actually right now, uh, Lyle Arnett is being uh, announced in the Gresham Center as a new Gresham uh, on-road supervisor. <laughs>